Like a lot of things, COVID changed FEMA's plans for this year's disaster drill, but they found a way to simulate how to move resources around the greater Northwest. Organizers tell us that COVID and exercises like this will end up saving lives. Those signs that you see on the map represent resources. Water, food, rescuers, they'll all be needed in the event of a massive earthquake. And those blue lines are are, are, are roads that we think will survive based on science, based on um, uh, criteria. This natural disaster board game brings together federal and state officials from Alaska, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. This is going to have to be an all hands on deck, consolidated effort, and we all got to have to be on the same sheet of music. But life saving, life sustaining, and then transitioning into recovery. This is a drill. The last Cascadia Rising exercise in 2016 magnitude earthquake. involved physical movement of supplies and military personnel, a much more realistic approach, and one that revealed there's lots of work to be done in preparedness and communication. We just saw how fragile our infrastructure systems were, and it really became crystal clear that much of the Cascadia response is going to be a huge logistics challenge. The pandemic gave these folks real-world crisis training, and while outbreaks last fall caused plans for another real-time exercise to be downgraded, this simulation still gives first responders a chance to work on disaster plans together, something they say needs to happen at private homes as well. Knowing we're not going to have water, knowing we're not going to have sewer, we're not going to have communication or energy, what are the things that you and your family need to be uh, disaster survivors and not disaster victims? If you want to make sure you and your family are prepared for the next big disaster, you don't need a big map like this. All you have to do is text the word disaster to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you a link. At Camp Murray, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.